What is up guys and welcome back to Rams TV. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 1 leak and today's leak is actually from someone claiming they worked as a 3D designer at Netherroom Studios, the company that makes the Mortal Kombat games. But anyways, before we get into any of that, like always make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so it's starting once again, we're finally getting leaks from the supposed workers at Netherroom Studios. Um, for anyone asking why do I cover these leaks, uh, because obviously that, well, no, that's like most likely fake. What are the chances someone who worked at, at Netherum Studios is going to go off the hinge and just start leaking stuff? I don't know. But the reason why I cover it is because first off, we don't know if this is real or fake. Um, yeah, this guy's claiming he worked as a 3D designer. I mean, where's the proof that he didn't, right? Like, you never know. Do I believe this is from an actual employee at Netherum Studios? No, but just because I don't believe it doesn't mean it's not true. It could be true. I don't know. But anyways, enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get right into the leak. So go ahead and check this out. So as you can see, the title is actually, I worked as a 3D designer at Netherum Studios. So uh, it's, it's quite, a, quite a long leak. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Throw away for obvious reasons. I do not wish to be blacklisted for industry purposes by Netherum Studios. I worked as a 3D artist at NRS and have some inside knowledge on the game. If you choose to believe or not is your choice. These bits are not huge story spoilers or anything like that, so they might not be interesting. As some might noticed, may have noticed, for 3D models, we did not scan face models, but we used a male and female template. Voice actors are mostly the same, however, I don't have much info on that since designers do not work a lot with the voice actors. Seeing bits of the product, I can say characters like Katana and Johnny Cage have the same personality and voice style as in MK11. The most difficult to scope were non-human characters, which is why most non-human characters such as Motaro did not make the roster. Cameo characters only have one default skin. When sculpting cameo characters, we mostly reused designs from previous games, they were not redesigned. Reptile was one of the first characters we worked on. I can say he looks closely like an MKX ver like his MKX version, however more brighter green in his outfit. Seeing some gameplay of Reptile, some moves from Melina and MK11 were used. Gear is not changeable, instead we made full skins with color variants for the main roster characters. Some characters the design team worked but were scrapped were Devora, a scrapped idea for a male chitin. This was a rough idea from the writing team which got scrapped pretty early on. Ashra, Limei, and a human version of Frost. Pretty much all of these were scrapped before we had finished a model so we didn't scrap a fully modeled characters. Some characters were fully modeled by then but but then were repurposed as cameo and future DLC, future cameo DLC. Gameplay wise, I did see a lot of the characters in action, except a few like Reptile, Katana, and Quan Chi. Okay, so uh, he's mainly, and I'm not gonna lie, this league, I, I hadn't actually read it until right now. Uh, it doesn't really sound too crazy, like it doesn't sound too fake, it's not like those leaks that are just spoiling 20, 30 characters. Here, so far, the only characters I see he's leaked is Quan Chi, Reptile, and Johnny Cage. And then he said that there were other characters considered, like Devora, Frost, Ash, or Limei, but they were all scrapped. And he's saying that some of the characters they scrapped are actually going to be repurposed as cameo and future cameo DLC characters. If you guys don't know, cameos are the assist characters they are introducing in MK1. So uh, this leak isn't too crazy. I thought it would be a bit crazier. Uh, so like I said, who knows? Maybe this is from an actual 3D designer in Netherum Studios that quit or got let go for some reason. Uh, so yeah, maybe this is legit. Like I said, not really the craziest leak I've heard. Uh, so once again, leaked characters in this leak are Reptile, Quan Chi, and Johnny Cage, which is pretty good. I would love to see Quan Chi come back, especially since we didn't have him in MK11. I would love to see Quan Chi come back. So uh, pretty good leak, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I went into it thinking it was gonna be really dumb and like he was gonna spoil like the whole roster or something. But no, nope, pretty subtle leak. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you think this is real? Do you think this is fake? Let me know why or why not in the comment section down below. Other than that, be sure to stay subscribed for more leak videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.